Question one of exercise 1c, we're going to get a new distribution for y, and it says that y is 2x take away 3. Two of these take away 3, so that's minus 1, um, then we've got 1, and then 3, and then 5. The properties are unchanged, so that's 0.1 there, 0.3 there, 0.2 there, and 0.4 there. And what are we asked to do? We're asked to just find out, so that's the property distribution. Now we're going to find out the expected value of y. So yp minus 0.1, that's 0.3, that's 0.6, that's 2.0. So the expected value of y there is, that's 2.8, isn't it? The expected value of y is 2.8. Do we have to find out the expected value of y squared? No, but we have got to find out the expected value of x as well. So we'll do the xp column here. That's 0 0.1, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and 1.6. So the expected value of x here is um, 2.9. Um, and now it just says, Calculate, verify the expected value of 2x minus 3. So we're doing 2, the expected value of x minus 3. So 2 times 2.9 minus 3. So that is 5.8 minus 3 is 2.8, which equals the expected value of y. Therefore, we're satisfied, aren't we? We expected that to happen. Again, this is the first question. I'll show you shortcuts on the calculator. So, I mean, why didn't we just put one, two, three, four down here in my x columns? And then I had 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0.4 in my um, probabilities. And yeah, so that gives us expected value of x to be 2.9 as we thought it was going to be. And a nice thing we can do here is. Um, just change the list. Change this list to 2 times list 1. And what was it? Take away 3. 2 times list 1, take away 3. And then now we've got all those numbers, those ones there. And again, it now tells us the expected value of x is now 2.8. Expected value of y, of course, it is now. So a few ways of doing it.